Hello students, I am Professor Amsamani from the Department of Textiles and Clothing. Today we shall be seeing one branch of technical textiles. You know technical textiles includes various aspects like cloth text, home textiles, industrial textiles, geo textiles, medical textiles, sports textiles, oak textiles and so on. Today we will be seeing two concepts as sports textiles and oak textiles. The concept of sports textiles will be seen first. All of you know sports textiles include textiles used for sports and leisure activities which are related to sports. We have in India the, sport, the growth of sports textiles is vast and it has high potential. Most of the sports textiles include all types of products which are used for the playing the game by the player. This includes nets, tents, balls, suits, etc. If you see the concept of sports textiles, you will find that in India we have maximum production for sports footwear like shoes and other type of socks. Uh, if you see the next component it is for sports composites which include balls used in basketball, volleyballs, tennis, cricket etc. The leading manufacturers of sports goods in India are Bata, Private Limited, Reebok and Nike. Now we shall be seeing the objectives of this unit. At the end of this session, the learner will be able to understand the significant role of sport textiles in sportsman's performance and related the characteristics of fibers, fabric structures and their functionalities in the performance of sport textiles. We shall see the definition for sports textiles. It is any type of fiber, yarn or fabric used to help the proper functioning of any sports activity can be defined as sport textiles. Sports textiles include materials used for sports environment and items used by the player to effectively play the game. Now we shall see the categories of sports textiles. First we shall see the sports composites. The tournaments such as Indian Football League, Indian Cricket League etc. play an important role in boosting the demand for sports composites. Sports composites involves cricket protective equipments, boxing equipments and inflammable balls like basketball, volleyball and football. About 30% of sports composite materials are exported. Casio India Limited is one of the main producers of sports composites. The next one we will be seeing under sports composites is boxing equipments. This category includes gloves, punching gloves, head guard, abdominal guard, punching bags, punching pads and speed balls used for boxing. PU coated or laminated nylon coated PVC oven polyester and PVC coated fabrics are chiefly used for making boxing equipments. South Africa, UK, US and Australia are major exporters of boxing equipments. Inflatable balls. The products such as basketball, football, handball fall under this category. 50% of market is dominated by footballs. The size ranges of footballs are 3, 4 and 5 and the circumference size of 5 is approximately 68.5 to 69.5 centimeters. The weight ranges between 420 to 445 grams having 0.8 bar pressure. Similarly all other game balls are also having their own measurements. Most of the balls are designed with oven fabrics, high tensile fibers. Most of these fabrics are given abrasion and UV resistance finish. UK, US, Germany and Australia are chief exporters of these products. Protective equipments. Protective equipments 
are used during cricket involving batting gloves leg guard thigh guard cricket kit bags helmets these are constructed using pvc coated pu laminated fabrics in the top and cotton on the inner side batting gloves are made with pu laminated fabrics whereas wicket keeping gloves which are subjected to more wear and tear is made with pvc coated fabrics cricket protective gears has huge demand in domestic market they are also exported to countries like new zealand uk south africa australia and usa artificial turf and synthetic turf artificial stuff is fabricated from synthetic materials that look similar like natural grass used for playing sports such as hockey or soccer it is also used for landscaping indoors and outdoors balconies and jogging tracks it is a safe substitute for natural grass that does not have any dangerous effect on children or pets the artificial traps need to be installed and maintained for its correct performance good quality sub base is very essential for ground insulation the life period of artificial troughs lasts for a decade artificial troughs are chiefly exported in india by surya varma's marketing limited and indrajit mehta construction private limited the artificial troughs consist of four layers such as pile fibers backing cloth shock absorbent layers and supporting base pile fibers the pile fibers are soft to touch like grass it is made out of polyamide nylon or nylon 6.6 or pp or pe the pile fibers that exactly match trough color is knitted straight into the backing using racial knitting it needs to permit the ball to roll smoothly and bounce it should be able to support non directional foot transaction need to have approximate strength stiffness and elasticity capable to endure regular wear and tear the threads used to fasten are to have weather resistance in nature with high strength backing fabrics the inside of the artificial trough where the surface fibers are attached is backing fabric it should readily permit free water flowing through the fabric shock absorbent foam the foam serves as a cushion for the falling and running athletic it is made of closed cell polymers like polyurethane half inch in height and permits vertical drainage through perforations supporting base it helps to support the load placed on the entire structure of the artificial trough next we shall see about parachute fabrics a parachute helps to slow down the decline of a falling body air permeability is one of the chief attribute of parachute fabrics that controls its descent the fabric need to be of minimum thickness that permits it to be folded into a bag a parachute comprises of four major parts parachute canopy rib cords suspension lines and the hardness the high tensile nylon yarns with 210 to 840 deniers is used to make webbing hardnesses and tapes because nylon has maximum strength to weight ratio parachute canopy they are primarily woven out of 32 to 200 denier high tensile multi filament nylon yarns the special reinforcement in the rib stop will manage the strength to weight ratio which also reduces the ripping and tearing of the fabric hardnesses hardnesses is used to fasten the pack to the wearer back or front it needs to be especially designed in a manner that the wind gravity and declaration force wouldn't cause injury 
to the wearer when the parachute is opened. This is made out of woven or braided nylon and polyamide fabrics. Rip cord. A rip cord helps to open the duck pack and let the chute to pop out. Rip cords are usually braided with high strength multifilament of nylon and polyester. Suspension lines. It helps to connect the parachute with the ring on the harness. This is made of the high stencil braided nylon or polyamide multifilament yarns. Next we shall be seeing about the balloon fabrics. Hot air balloons finds its application as security equipment in military forces and adventurous sports. It is driven by hot air enclosed in an envelope. Basket, envelope and burners are the chief components of hot air balloons. The envelope is made with strong and light weight nylon or dacron ripstop fabric which can withstand a temperature around 120 degrees Celsius. Ripstop fabric of 150 to 250 GSM are executively used to make balloon fabrics. They are woven fabrics using a special reinforcement technique by inserting thick threads typically 5 to 8 mm apart during weaving at regular intervals in a cross hatch pattern and ripping. The adequate weights of strength ratio and tear resistance are perpendicular to this fabric. The fabric either fully or one third part is coated with polyurethane or silicone to make it non permittable to air. Moisture, heat and mechanical wear and tear resistance are the basic properties of balloon fabrics. The market for balloon fabrics is very poor in India. There are no exports for balloon fabrics from India. The regular body for hot air balloons in India is Directorate General of Civil Navigation. Next we shall be seeing about sales cloth. Sail is a piece of fabric or canvas that helps to move the vessel by means of wind before arrival of motor boats. Today sails cloth is used in sporting yachts, sailing boats and during recreation activities. Earlier flax, hemp or cotton fabrics were used to make the sails but nowadays inexpensive material such as polyester or nylon having 200 to 600 GSM or costly fabrics such as carbon and amides are used. Synthetic materials have more advantages over natural ones due to their strength and lightweight. The demand for sales cloth in India is negligible. The ideal property required for sales cloth are tear resistance, strength resistance, high tensile, breaking strength, creep resistance and UV resistance. Now we shall be seeing sports nets. Sports nets are essential part of various sports such as football, handball, badminton, tennis, volleyball and basketball. The average DSM of sports nets is 200 GSM. The nets are made up of nylon, PP and HDPE. The mesh shape can be hexagonal or square according to their end use. The dimension of badminton net is 24 into 2 point feet. The sides and bottom are finished with black PVC tape made out of HDPE, PP, nylon and cotton. Whereas tennis nets have 42 into 4 feet dimension made out of HDPE with UV resistance knot. Volleyball nets are 9.5 into 1 meter with PVC coated sides and bottom fabrics made out of PP and nylon. Football nets and soccer nets are 24, 8 into 6 feet dimension and also made out of HDPE, PP and nylon. The large manufacturers of sport nets in India are Ganwar, Wall Ropes and Collier nets. 
Sports nets are chiefly exported to US, Belgium and Finland. Now we shall be seeing about sports shoe components. Sports shoes are used for playing various sports such as hockey, tennis, cricket, football and during jogging, running and as casual wear. The components used for making sports shoe are PVC, PU laminated or coated fabrics. Normally shoes consist of shoe uppers, linings, counters, labels, sandwich meshes, elastics, non-oven insole tapes and laces. The shoe upper layer should be of uniform thickness and suitable color with waterproofing finish. The desired quality required for shoe uppers are dimensional stability, durability, breathability and lightweight and color fastness. The chief material used for shoe make shoes are polyester, PU and PVC. Casual shoes are of great demand in India. The shoe manufacturing sector in India remains as a small scale and cottage industry located in Delhi, Agra and Velour. Footwear components are imported from China, Italy, Germany, Taiwan and Portugal. The leading brands of sports shoes in India are Liberty, Adidas, Nike and Reebok. Now we shall be seeing about the tents used in sports Tents are described as any cloth that can be made into transportable shelters supported by poles. Ideal characteristics required for tents are strength, breathable, durability, flame retardant, waterproof, lightweight, UV protection, wrath proof and decoloration resistance. Tents can be classified as solar alook or touré. A solar alook tent has the ability to absorb and convert less than 2 mm wavelength light to heat. This can be used in winters to capture 90% sunlight and convert them to into heat thereby giving warmth. Toure are thermochromatic material with micro capsules of heat sensitive dyes encapsulated or coated evenly on the surface. The heat sensitive dyes are capable to produce fun and special effects by changing their color at 50 degrees interval for a temperature range of 40 to 80 degrees. The components of tents are outer tents and fly sheets, a fabric covering decline over the tent providing protection from bad weather. Inner tents and lining and ground sheets, a waterproof finish sheet spread over the inside of tent ground. Cotton canvas of 100%, jute, polyester, polycotton of 30 to 70 and 50 to 50, nylon and ripstop nylon are fabrics used for making tents. Among them, 100% cotton canvas and polycotton blends are widely used for making tents. Non-oven terlin 4 mm with 500 GSM is used as a lining as synthetic insulation. Ground sheets are made of waxed cotton canvas with 440 GSM. PVC coated 500 GSM canvas or LDPE coated oven polypropylene of 117 to 200 GSM. Based on the application, tents are classified as army or defense tents, disaster relief tents and other consist of camping tents and party, wedding or exhibition tents. Synthetic materials are used to make camping tents. The excellent strength, flexibility, abrasion resistance, resistance to insects, attack and microorganisms make nylon a popular material for making tents. Based on the design, they are categorized as frame tents that are supported by frames providing nearly a perpendicular side with a sellout of letter A. Second type of tent is doom tents having sloping aerodramatic profile which is ideal for adhesive weather situation. Next is hoop tents which is sturdy and flexible poles that suit camping. The last category is tunnel tents with two 
or more hoop along its length depending upon the construction tents are classified as single fly and have one layer of fabric double fly consists of one layer fabric tents along with the fly sheet and the third category is winterize consisting of one layer tent fabric with a lining usually cotton a fly and a stove pipe hole in india suppliers of tents are located in kanpur trends are mostly imported from hong kong china and malaysia most of the tents from india are exported to Malaysia, UK, Australia, France, Lebanon, Italy and Germany. Next we shall be seeing about swimwear. Swim suits are also known as swimming costume or bathing suits. It is a clothing item designed to be worn during dripping water sports such as water pool, surfing, swimming, diving and skating. Men swim suits are known as swimming trunks. includes briefs broad shorts jumpers and g strings women suits are either one or two pieces specially made swim suits are called as dive skins partially or full body suits jumpers race back styles and racing briefs are designed for competitive swimming and assists to glide into the water and helps to gain speed fabrics used are cotton spandex lycra nylon and polyester metallic overlay and velvet suits are used to provide only fashion the lzr razor suits is high end swim suits made of woven polyurethane and elastan nylon fabric the fabrics are given chlorine resist treatment to lengthen the lifetime and to prevent destruction the market size for swimwear is very small in india fashion swim suits is exported from india but high performance swim wear demands are met through imports from speedo puma adidas Reebok and Nike. Now we shall be seeing the obstacles in the growth of sport products in India. The major obstacles for the growth of sports techs in India is insufficient domestic demand, non-availability of sufficient techniques and machines for making products like artificial troughs and balloon fabrics. sourcing these products and raw materials from outside inversely increases the production cost while comparing to other manufacturing nations tents and parachutes were used only by defense sectors hence people need to be encouraged to participate in adventurous sports activities that boost the demand of sport textile products now we have come to the end of sport textiles we shall sum up seeing that a change in people's outlook towards sports activity and adventurous sports will increase sport textiles and this in turn will increase the economy apart from this healthy life can be improved with awareness in sports therefore the government should take up several activities like increasing tournaments for football and cricket such that people's interest in sports will increase today we have seen about the various types of textile materials either in the form of fiber yarn or fabric which has been used as a part of sports either as balls or tents or shoes now we shall be seeing about another sector of technical textiles the oak textiles oak textiles include textiles which are eco friendly and safe this is a new branch which is emerging into india and across the world in the recent years this has been developed based upon the environmental issues and waste disposal 
the oak textiles help us to produce fabrics fibers and yarns which are safe to mankind and as well as the environment around the production of oak textiles depends upon the production of eco friendly products and the use of consumers for eco friendly products in india the production of oak textiles is expected to increase by 22% which is around 66 million us dollars by 2016-17 this is estimated by the ministry of textiles government of india apart from that in 2000 we have the municipal solid waste management system which says that oak textiles will help in supporting the reduction of waste disposal now we shall see about the various components the objectives and definition of oak textiles the objectives of oak textiles at the end of this session the learner will be able to understand the significant role of oak textiles in environmental safety relate the characteristics of fibers fabrics structures and their functionality in the performance of oak textiles apart they will gain knowledge about certification of oak textiles now we shall see about the definition of oak textiles any type of fiber yarn or fabric used or produced based on environmental safety can be defined as oak textiles these products need to be certified as oak tech the criteria for oak tech testing are reviewed every day the testing takes into account every feasible way for absence of harmful substance in the product oak textiles includes several products which are a part of other technical textile sectors like personal clothing from cloth tex table linens from home textiles filtration nets from industrial textiles erosion fabrics from geo textiles and munting sheets from agro textiles now we shall see about the classification of oak textiles oak textiles is a global standard accepted worldwide generally these textiles are given certification as oak textiles common to all countries the certification means independent testing of raw materials semi finished and finished textile products at all processing levels and testing of accessory materials used for production the certification is to confirm that the raw materials and the finishing materials used and the final product are free from any type of harmful substance and did not produce any harmful by products during the process these textiles also include materials used for personal grooming and materials used for safeguarding landfills from dangerous water leakage preventing chemicals or oil leakage from the ground covers or contaminated tanks from chemicals and other processing industries oak textiles are classified based on the certification which in turn is associated to product production environment and end user the classifications are the oak tech 100 oak tech 1000 and oak tech 100 plus now we shall see about oak tech 100 the oak tech 100 is also known as oak tech standard 100 it was first presented in trade fair in 1997 it deals with clothing industry within a year 214 companies across german austria and switzerland included the certification process today there are about 750 textiles and clothing manufacturers throughout the textile processing chain in and around 80 countries certified for oak tech standard 100 it refers to tests for harmful substances according to oak tech standard 100 for textile products which possess no risk for whatsoever to health it confirms the fabric is 
skin friendly and stands as a criteria for purchase. To obtain this certificate, the fabric is tested against 100 substances known to be harmful to human health. This certification is not concerned with organic fibers or waste byproducts environmental properties. The products under this certification include baby products which include any fiber yarn or fabrics used by children below 36 months. Direct contact products like underwear, non-direct contact products like buttons and accessories and finally which are used for decoration like curtains. The major properties of these fabrics are they are free from carcinogenic and allergenic dye stuffs, formaldehyde, absence of heavy metal under artificial perspiration. The Oak Tech 1000 based on the production environment Oak Tech 1000 is certified it deals with eco-friendly production process, the production site, the waste and byproducts. The testing includes aspects like energy consumption, space utilization, use of renewable and non-renewable raw material, use of ozone depletion chemicals, water contamination, workplace contaminating noise, and air pollution. It does not include aspects related to human resources. We shall see the third aspect of Oak Textiles. Oak Textile 100 Plus. The certification of Oak Tech 100 Plus is given to a product that have standards for Oak Tech 100 certification and is produced in a production site which is certified for Oak Tech 1000 standard. In a nutshell, Oak Tech 100 plus includes all standards of Oak Tech 100 and Oak Tech 1000. For example, a cotton shirt must be produced with fibers which are not exposed to any harmful pesticides during growth and banded chemicals during production in a site with proper disposal of water during the production. Now we shall see about the certificate categories. The classification of Oak Tech 100, Oak Tech 1000 and Oak Tech 100 plus are categorized based upon the authorities who issue the certification. They are the first party certification, a person or an organization with certain standards set by themselves. Second, it is the second party certification, an association which gives assurance that a product is of the required standards. The next one is the third party certification, which is an independent testing company which tests the issues and certifies the product, production site, are in bar with the required standards. This certification is considered the best. Most of the export requires this certification. The norms are reviewed at regular intervals. Now we shall see about the Oak Tech application. The applications of Oak Textiles are apart from being a part of garment and health and hygiene care products vary depending upon the end use also. The properties are governed by the application. Some of the most common applications are geosynthetic materials used for leak deduction system, geogrids are used for reinforced slope underneath waste, geonets are applied in in-plant drainage. Geomembranes are applied as filtration fabrics between liquid and gas. Geocomposites are used for separation, drainage or filtration purpose. Generally non-oven fabrics layers having 180 to 250 GSM are applied as an intermediate layer to make geosynthesis clay. Geotextile materials of 285 to 
300 GSM non-oven fabrics is used for cushioning or filtration purpose. Geo membranes with 2 mm thickness are used for filtration textiles. Apart from non-oven textiles, we also use them for agro textiles. Now we shall see the summary of oak textiles. The general awareness created by the government and self-help groups and other organizations has increased the demand for oak textiles. Apart from that, worldwide awareness about waste disposal, ozone depletion has focused people to use eco-friendly products. People have now started looking out for oak tech certification in the products they buy. Apart from that, the increase in oak techs has also been used for economical growth. Now we shall all join hands to produce and buy oak textile certified materials. This in turn will help us to find a green pollution free India.